Hi kids, welcome to another Lego workshop at the Lisbon Library. Uh, last time we talked about micro scale architecture, um, building really big structures on a really tiny scale. Uh, this time we're going to try something a little different. Uh, we'll make a representation of a bedroom and give you hints on how you can rearrange your bedroom so that it works the way you want it to. Uh, so we'll grab a base plate and some bricks and we'll get started. So on your base plate, you can start building up some walls and I'm just using bricks that are one stud wide and um, just make uh, the closest approximation of your walls of your bedroom that you can. And um, this is just a basic square shape. I added some clear bricks to give an idea of where windows might be. Um, you can just sort of get an idea of where those belong. Uh, that will help with some of your placement of furniture, maybe. Um, making sure you're not blocking doors and windows. I didn't have any door pieces, so I'm just using that fence piece uh, on that back row there. And um, once you get about two levels high, you can certainly go higher if you want to. Uh, I only had enough bricks to go two levels high, really. Um, that's when you can sort of start to adjust maybe the proportions of the room. Uh, maybe you need to make one wall a little bit shorter or another wall a little bit longer. Um, but just make sure that you have the important elements of your room sort of set. Maybe there's a closet somewhere. You can add a little partition wall. Um, and adjust the size so that it takes up the right amount of space. I did another little door there to indicate that there is a closet. Then you can start making some furniture. So um, using some two by four bricks, I'm just making a basic bed shape and um, maybe add a little slope for a pillow. And then you can place that somewhere in your room, just sort of gently push it down a little bit. And then maybe there's a little desk and you can make um, sort of a desk shape with a couple of basic bricks. And maybe you have a little computer on there with a little screen. Um, and then you can place that somewhere else in the room. Uh, and there you go. So there's a basic room with a couple of pieces of furniture. Maybe you have a little chair. Um, I used a slope and a Technic brick with two holes in it and sort of attach them in a non-traditional way. You can sort of see how they connect there and then you can place that down on your base plate and that will allow it to look sort of like a little seat. And then the fun part is you can sort of move your furniture around to try out different arrangements without having to actually move the real furniture in your room. Uh, that can be very handy if you want to try putting the bed in a different spot. Uh, maybe move the desk around. And uh, it's a, a lot easier to move it that way than moving those actual pieces of furniture. I hope you kids enjoyed uh, this Lego workshop. We'd, of course, love to see uh, anything that you create, bring it by to the library, or ask your parents to post a picture on our Facebook page. See you next time.